The Gravettians flourished during the Upper Paleolithic period, approximately 40,000 to 20,000 years ago, across much of Europe. They are named after the site of La Gravette in France, where their characteristic stone tools were first discovered. The Gravettians are notable for their advanced hunting techniques and the development of tools that were more sophisticated than those of their predecessors. Their toolkit included distinctively shaped blades and pointed tools, often made from flint, which were used for hunting large game such as mammoths, bison, and reindeer. The Gravettians also utilized projectile points, likely hafted onto spears, which gave them an advantage in hunting. In addition to their hunting prowess, the Gravettians are known for their artistic and cultural achievements. They produce some of the earliest examples of figurative art, including the famous Venus figurines, small, stylized representations of women, often emphasizing fertility. These figurines have been found across a wide geographical range, from Western Europe to the Russian plains, indicating a shared cultural tradition among Gravettian groups. The same Venus figurines were later found in use by other cultures which the Gravettians sired, such as the ancient North Eurasians. In this video, we will look at the DNA results of Goyet, a 35,000-year-old Gravettian from Belgium. He carried Y lineage C, like his Cro-Magnon predecessors, and mitochondrial lineage M. With PCA-based tools for ethnic analysis, Goyet clusters with West Eurasians but has some exotic tendencies. For example, both G25 and Eurogenes K13 detect around a quarter of South Eurasian ancestry in Goyet. This type of result is rather typical for Europeans of the Upper Paleolithic. Regarding his phenotype, Goyet is predicted to have dark brown eye color, black hair, light brown skin, curly hair texture, and a rather Greek than snub nose shape. He carried variants for longer mid-face length, larger nose size, and thicker eyebrows. Regarding dopamine reuptake, Goyet is predisposed to slow dopamine reuptake and higher dopamine levels. This is called the worrier phenotype, and it is most typical for Europeans. We observe this phenotype in European hunter-gatherers and in a lot of modern Europeans. This phenotype is completely absent in non-European ethnicities. Goyet is predisposed to an intermediate number of D2 dopamine receptors, but very high risk for bipolar and schizophrenia due to other contributing factors. Goyet is predisposed to lower levels of serotonin and average odds of depression and also average odds of ADHD. Goyet is predisposed to lower odds of autism, which is unusual for Eurasians. Goyet carried no variants for lactase persistence and was definitely not tolerant to lactose. Goyet was predisposed to an average level of empathy based on OXDR genotypes. Goyet carried risk variants for Alzheimer's and the APO gene and had elevated odds of Alzheimer's. Goyet had some predisposition to epithelial cancers, but also for testicular cancer and breast cancer, which is typical for Europeans today. Goyet had average predisposition to autoimmune disorders based on HLA genotype. Goyet had a predisposition to lower levels of plasma homocysteine and lower odds of cardiovascular issues, which is common for Europeans to score. Goyet had an average predisposition to obesity. Goyet had a number of other health risks, including myopia, exfoliation glaucoma, hemoglobin E disease, erythema nodosum, gout, type 2 diabetes, male pattern hair loss, and Gilbert syndrome. He was protected from a range of conditions as well, such as allergies, cataracts, age-related macular degeneration, and kidney stones. Moving on to biomarkers, Goyet's predispositions seem quite good. He is predisposed to a higher level of vitamin D, which is a positive predisposition to have, lower level of LDL and higher level of HDL cholesterol, which is also the ideal predisposition to have for cardiovascular health, average level of glucose, which is rather typical and falls within the general expected range and results, also average level of hemoglobin, which is also rather typical. Goyet is predisposed to slightly increased blood pressure, but that is mitigated by his low homocysteine levels and good score on the cardiovascular issues panel. He is also predisposed to a rather average level of iron in blood and level of sex hormone binding globulin. Goyet is predisposed to slightly decreased red blood cell count, which can be a positive or a negative depending on how you view it. For his cardiovascular health, it is a positive. Goyet is predicted to have longer telomere length, which means longer estimated biological lifespan which is a very positive predisposition to have. Goyet is also predicted to be above average in height, 
which checks out with the anthropological data we have on Gravedians that points to them being the tallest group of the Upper Paleolithic. Overall, his biomarker predispositions are all very positive. He is predicted to belong to blood group O, or less likely blood group A, which are still the two most frequent blood groups in Belgium, where he is from. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check out the description of the video, which has the links to buy my trade predictor executable, but also the links to purchase a trade predictor report for only $3.85, but also the link to buy the DNA of this Gravetian that this video is about, Goyet Q116. The link to buy his DNA in 23andMe format will also be in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.